Well, that's a way to start an episode. Socially awkward intro. Welcome back to Skyward Sword. I want this bird. No, not you. That one, yes. I want this one. This is a blue bird, and if you can grab this one, then you can have free access to all the blue birdie feathers you want. No, no, no! This is gonna be like the sand cicadas, isn't it? Oh, golly. Okay, let's go check on Groose real quick. He seems like he's having a bad time. Hey, bud. Sniff. I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Oh shoot, he's having a bad time. Okay. Hello, bug, I wish for you. Thank you. Secondary bluebird? No? No? Yes! There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I want... I want that one. No, the other one. Darn it! The blue one. really bad at this. I'm really, really, really bad at this. Like, Also, I think I've gone the wrong way. I came out here to try and go back to the... to the sky. I thought there was... I thought there was a bird statue around in here somewhere, but apparently... Can I... Nope. Okie dokie. <gasps> They come back! I have been granted another chance! I want the blue one. Quit giving me the pink ones. Ah! We'll come back to that. We will come back to that. Because clearly I have to go out a different doorway for some reason, darn it. Okay, not that door, but this door. Yes. Haha. -ha. We gotta go back up to the sky and talk to somebody. I'll figure it out. Presumably your father, yes? Headmaster Kipora Gibora with the up never mind. Great Goron! I have found some! Look! Those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place! This has to be the right spot. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill! What can we do? Well, conveniently enough, I think I have the solution to all of your problems. Oh, hey, this is that thing I didn't ask about. Boing! That is it! One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of! There is just no mistaking it! Looks like a Sheikah stone to me, are you sure about that? Oh, hey! We've got an ornamental skull. Simple, slightly macabre fashion symbol bears the Bokoblin symbol. I have... yeah. Alrighty, that works out. What you want? Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you say so, I could have sworn you were a Sheikah stone. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop out of this ground with a boing boing! Okay, now the ultimate question is, do you do the gossip stone thing? I want to see this. It does! 
Whoosh, there it goes! Oh, and it went boom, too. Perfect. The absolute most important thing for any Gossip Stone. The ability to launch like a rocket. I want you... Oh, okay. I guess I'm just too impatient and I need to move a lot slower. Bug! I will collect all of these while I can. Alrighty, off to the sky. We have got people to talk to. Alright, now if I've got the correct person in my head, and I think I've said this already, but you know, I'll say it again just to make sure I've got my thought process right. We should probably go looking for Headmaster Kepora Gebora. Or maybe it's Gebora Kepora. One of those two. The point is, he's Zelda's dad, he's also Headmaster of the school, and if she was gonna learn that song from anybody, it was probably him. Also, he gave her the harp, so you know, that's another point in his favor. This is my logic and my reasoning. Let's see if I'm right. Also, I think I remember going to him for this part. So let's see if my memory is correct. My memory is a little weird sometimes. Hmm. Also, more to the point, where is his office? Bath. Okay, that's not it. Hey, Pippet. Or er, Pippet. Pippet. Hey, Link, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. I am? That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for her, all right. I'm totally not taking stuff into my own hands. Or any of that. Instructor Horwell. Karain? Kar Karane? Hmm. Instructor Owlin. Headmaster Gapora. Okay. Does this mean Zelda's last name is Gapora? Hey, perfect! Zelda Gapora. I'm not sure I like that. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm. hmm. I see. My dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the songs Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Uh... <laughs> As a person with incredible social anxiety, I understand the terror of singing in front of people. You don't have to do that, just give me the lyrics, man. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower and before you a path shall open and a heavenly song you shall hear i believe that's the whole thing the light tower mentioned in the song is a real place i'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza i don't know a thing about the two whirling sails though it sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that, and what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. I think... I think I've actually fiddled around with that before. I, yeah, because I... Yeah, I blew the gust bellows at that windmill that one time because it had a pinwheel exactly the same as the ones down in the, um... 
the word? Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh... The, um... We were just there in the desert! The, uh... The freaking, um... The... They, like, they dig and they pull stuff out of the ground. What is that called? It's like a cave hole in the... Uh, the... You know what I'm talking about. I'll figure it out. Okay. So if I blow on this... I gotta point it towards the tower in the plaza. Yeah? Neato. Perfect. Now, where's the other one? Mm, I think... Is it over... It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Hey, uh... Shoot, what's your name? Fledge? Hey, Fledge. Hey, Link. Two whirling sails, eh? That's a tough one. The wind is really strong here in Skyloft, so there are lots of things that look like sails. Well, you were not of help much, but... Oh, hey, there it is. Thank you for trying, Fledge! I can see it in the distance. It is... Up there on top of the doohickey. We can do this, we can do this, shouldn't be too hard. Oh dear. Bother! What's up, Link? Well, I'm 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 having a problem. So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Smart pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped off the edge, down below the clouds. Hang on. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. Hang on, I... I highly suggest you to retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Thank you, Fi. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put too much stock in it. Okay, but hang on! Didn't I? Okay, first I want to address something. Firstly, during that cutscene, when, when the scene pans over to land on this beacon, I thought the game was subtly telling me that this is where I needed to look. This is incorrect. If I'm remembering this right, where we actually need to go... If it could show up. There we go. Is to Elden. Because I remember finding a pinwheel on the ground and saying... This is gonna be important later. Somebody remind me if I forget about it. Because... Yeah, well, it's either Elden or it's Lineru. But I think Lineru had that weird spinny prize game looking thing in it, and not the- I'm like 80% sure the pinwheel was in Elden. So yeah. But yeah, he's right in that we don't have a way to carry it, so... Best to go to the scrap shop, I suppose. I can find a way- there we go. Oh, this is someone's house, isn't it? Yep. That's awkward! I don't know why I thought this was the bazaar. That doesn't make any sense. Where- where- where did I think I was going? Where do I think that I am? Oh, uh, okay. Here we go, I think. Yeah, this is the bazaar. Okay, I was one level down. Whoops! That was awkward. Incredibly so. Okay, I gotta talk to you. I gotta talk to you, sir. 
What's up, man? Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yeah, I do. Huh? Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with? You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You need to pick up something from the clouds below with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot... What's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen, any such thing. Conveniently enough, I think we've got like six of them. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing! So this is an ancient flower? I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great! With this, we can fix Scrapper! Wait right here! I'll have him up and running in no time. Ooh, there you go! Thank you, Bzzert! I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything, Bzzert! Huh? Who is this green-clad individual of small stature? Whoa, it talked! Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Are you sure it was him? Zert. Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Chunk! Oh. Hey now, watch it! That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're gonna help him. Oof. This individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Zert. Serving children is very low on my task priority. Zzt. Master Link. Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dousing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Thank you, Fi. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch when you return to the sky. Who are you? Zzt. Your name is Fi? Should I call you Mistress Fi? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fi? I I understand. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Master. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyline. You may immediately begin your search for the window of propeller. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Spy's thought waves. What? Should you need me, ask Mr. Spy to call me and I will arrive with haste. Bzzat. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Oh, it wants me to douse. Okay, well, first of all, there we go. Second of all... Well, this is largely unhelpful. I am dousing for the pinwheel, aren't I? Yeah, that's not doing anything. But what does this dude say? 
I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. Oh yeah! I tell you, even if he gives a big guy like me the creeps. That's something we'll come back to. But more importantly... Can we talk about how weird it is that a robot has a crush? And also the whole Mistress Phi thing? And the detecting Mistress Phi's thought waves thing? Okay... Whoops. There we go! And I was right. Elden Volcano. Because, like... I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit... Just a little bit invasive? Especially the whole thought patterns thing. Like, it's kind of... Okay, it's a little bit cute. I will admit that it's a little bit cute the way he just sees her and falls instantly. But, like... Also, I don't think Fi has ever had a romantic notion in her life. And also, like, the fact that he just latched onto her that quickly. And thought waves, of all things. That just seems... Like... I don't know. I get that it's funny, and I do appreciate the humor, but like... Point to my preferred descent area. Ah, yeah, okay, um... Hmm... Temple entrance? Or volcano ascent? Mm. I think... I think temple entrance. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the closest I'm gonna get to where I remember it being, I think. Cell claws! Okay. Now if I've got this right, then I think I need to go this way. And then... Yeah! Whoops! Right down here! Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I want. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Would you like me to hold the robot? Yes, I would. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. Mistress Fi, I hope you weren't waiting long. Bzzzt. So, bzzzt. you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Shortpants, you're in my way here. Zerpt, I said get out of the way. Mert. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Mert. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. Hmm. Alrighty. Whoops. I got a sprint. I forgot about that. I saw something briefly that I kind of want to investigate just real quick. But first. Well, not but first. Okay, this here. This here. I think if I'm right. Yeah! I'm right! Firstly... No, Link. Yeah, I thought so. Boing boing. What you gonna give me? Elden Ore. I did not necessarily need this, but okay, that's alright. I have so much Elden Ore already. I could have used, you know, a monster claw, or... I've heard some of the goddess cubes unlock all sorts of treasure. Some even hold a piece of heart. They do. I know this already, thank you. And... Kaboom. Kaboom. There we go! Oh, hey, sweet. That works out. Excellent. I am pleased. Ah, man. I thought... There we go. 
Presumably, it's just going to be money and maybe Elden Ore or two, but... Oh, wow, this is a good hole. Dang! I wish that I could find 20 bucks just by digging in the ground. That never happens to me. Oof. What's in here, though? Rude! Incredibly so. Like, dang. Oh! Oh, they respawned! Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice. I just want to restock my stuff real quick while I'm here. And then... Hmm. With the windmill, you know, I think we should probably just head back up to the sky. In order to... Slot this in and get to where we're going next. Bit of back and forth for this section, I will say. Hmm. Okay. Back to Skylock. We should be pretty darn close. Yes. Oh, oh, hey, there he is. He's like right there behind us. I see. Okay. Hopefully he can keep up. Whoops. Not if I do that. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay. Now. Oh! Oh, it's just gonna cutscene me straight there. I see. Here's that windmill propeller. Zazzed! If you need me, boosh, clang, feel free to call. For Mistress Fi, I will travel to any destination. Kurt. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that? It is, that's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Huh. Somehow I get the feeling this is all an elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. This goes in here, and I just crank that a few clicks. Mm. Ooh. That ought to do it. If you can find somewhere to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Honey! Honey? Oh no. I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix her cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. If it's that much of a hassle, then why did you agree to spend the rest of your life with her? Like, jeez, dude. Way to be loyal to the person you picked. Oh, I gotta turn around the long way? Come on. Alright. We'll just do this slowly. Very, very slowly. Up. Oh, okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Let's go see what that did for us. Presumably it did good things, I suspect. It's okay, Link. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Alrighty. We just gotta pop on over. Come on. Climb all the ladders. Hop up to the top. Why is this named the Light Tower, anyways? What, what do they even need a Light Tower for? It's not like... I mean, it's not... It's not like there's any ships or anything, is there? Hmm. Okay. Um... 
Well, it kind of looks like the harp tutorial, so... Perfect! There we go. I guess they just hoped that was going to be intuitive for you. And we will do that next time. Because I think that this is quite enough of an adventure for one day. And that looks like it's going to be an even bigger one. So, socially awkward exit. And I'll see you all next time.